Hello and welcome to another miraculous day of learning and fun at Women's School. For today's teacher feature, we have Shirley Tolliver. Er, Hi, Ray. my name is Miss Tolliver, or some call me Miss Shirley. I work in the K-5 class with Miss Redford and Miss Jones, and I also work in a second grade class with Miss Lafferty. Today's weather for Wednesday will be, the morning will start off pretty cold, one degrees, and in the afternoon it'll speed up to 12 degrees. Hey, do we have any birthdays today? We don't have any birthdays today, but we do actually have two late birthdays that we forgot to say yesterday. So happy late birthday to Brayden Sadler and Alina Nat. Yes, we hope you two had a great birthday. Sorry for missing those. All right, several items. Yesterday's trivia, this is the answer. Why do we celebrate Black History Month in February? Well, this is why. Two figures that loom large in the black past, U.S. President Abraham Lincoln, born February 12th, who is issued the Emancipation Proclamation, and African-American abolitionist, author, and orator Frederick Douglass, born Valentine's Day, February 14th. Since the deaths of Lincoln and Douglass um, in 18, 1865 and 1895, respectively, the black community had celebrated their contributions to African-American liberation and civil rights on their birthday. And that's the reason that we celebrate Black History Month in February. The trivia winner with no outside help, well, none from us anyway, our very own Ricardo. So kudos to all of you who submitted answers to that question. So we have a lot going on today. It is, um, let's see, it's Wordy Wednesday. I'll share that in a minute. But um, our African-American STEM leader, Kimberly Bryant, electrical engineer and founder of Black Girls Code. Kimberly Bryant had worked for years as a successful electrical engineer before moving to Silicon Valley. She noticed that minorities were severely underrepresented in the startup world. Coupled with the fact that her daughter Kia really was interested in programming coding, she decided to start Black Girls Code, a nonprofit organization that empowers girls from under, underrepresented communities by introducing them to programming. So while not as lucrative as her previous career, it was much more recording. And she, she has seen the Black Girls Code group grow and grow. So kudos to you, Miss Kimberly Bryant. So today I'm not gonna share so any words with definitions. I'm gonna share some synonyms from one of my very favorite books, a thesaurus. A thesaurus is just full of synonyms. So we all know the weather is really, really cold. Miss Shirley told us it's going to be cold. So instead of saying it's freezing, instead of saying the temperatures this week are freezing, think about this. Why don't you use the word Siberian or Arctic or glacial or polar or numbing? Ooh, any of those describing words would be fantastic and they would definitely knock the socks off your family. So when you're talking about the temperature, Siberian, Arctic, glacial, polar and numbing, throw those out there and see what kind of response you get. Hey, I do have one announcement from Ms. From Ms. Clements. She wants to remind all of you that grades are due this Friday. They close this Friday. So get on all that work that you've not turned in yet. Get those grades up and keep them up. So you got some work to do. I know it's a mostly asynchronous day, but get something done today. Be productive. All right, Ricardo, will you close us out? Once again, have another miraculous day of learning and fun at, learning and fun at women's school. Goodbye.